CS183S is about sales. The S is for sales. And dealing with objections is a large component of it. And that's what this video series is going to deal specifically with dealing with objections and the hintings of ageism while specifically using your telephone to try to hack sales and build credibility and handle the objections of you're too young, ageism, no need and no trust because you're too young and because I can't trust you to handle what I need because you are too young. So that's hashtag CS. 183s it's hashtag cs 183s there's a ton of resources online so follow along there's two hashtags three actually four let me iron them out for you and lay them out no need no trust that's just natural for when you are in sales uh, it doesn't matter if you're the best professional you're still going to come up with come against no need and no trust and what this set of videos uh, advocates is CS183S, which is using your telephone to build a counterintuitively awesome set of great results because you're going to be selling via the phone. I know it's groundbreaking because most of us just text. We never use voicemail. That's what this is going to explore. And I think it'll be pretty fun too. Talking on the telephone hides your age. The mere fact that you're using your iPhone 6 to speak, not FaceTime, just regular talk, implicates that you might be older than a 20-year-old junior at Stanford two years short of your co-term, which is a crime, by the way, that you get a degree, a master's degree, just spending one extra year. Okay, we're not even going to go into that. CS183S is about using the telephone to pre not pretend, but sort of give people the impression that you're not 20 years old. So you're countermeasuring uh, ageism, which is uh, inherent. Not to beat a dead horse, but when you're 18 to 24 years old and you are a pimple-faced co-founder that's really good at CS and really good at technology, people are going to look at you funny when you try to pitch them on your minimum viable product in person, which I also recommend that you do. Just use the telephone to augment and uh, build a great set of impressions in that you can report results and update your uh, progress like you're a FedEx package. So using the telephone uh, works and there's a bunch of funny, hilarious uh, things if you keep on inside this video. There's a Y Combinator book, it's called Founders at Work, and in it, it specifically talks about the Collison brothers. Yes, the ones that are famous from do things that don't scale, but have momentum in doing the Collison Brothers install, those guys. So Jessica Livingston wrote about how the founders would, the Collison Brother founders, would use the telephone to establish that they were older and professional and able to talk on the telephone should people need customer support after the sale. So they definitely use the telephone uh, to their advantage. On the telephone, nobody can tell that you're 20. On the internet, nobody can tell that you're a dog, but on the telephone, nobody can tell that you're 20 years old. And that's what the hashtag, which is uh, kind of racy, which is hashtag give good phone. Hashtag give good phone. It's one of the largest skills that uh, isn't developed with a technical co-founder because you can't outsource sales and you can't delegate selling, you and your co-founders are going to have to avoid what Stephen Professor Blank called startup death spiral. Yeah, it, the West Coast, everybody calls it a Professor Steve, which is weird to me. It should be Professor Blank. He talked about startup death spiral. Good job watching so far. This is a great and awesome tip in sales for engineers. How to close a deal via voicemail. <laughs> How to close a deal via voicemail. I chuckle, I sound like I'm joking, I am not joking. Old people, old executives, they still use voicemail. You can hack the phone 
by leaving a sequence of voicemails. I have outlined scripts uh, to speak into voicemail that absolutely will make you chuckle and giggle just like the way I giggle. Well, maybe not exactly, but it's a giggle ohm article, how to close a deal via voicemail. Giga like huge, ohm like omelic. Giga ohm, how to close a deal via voicemail. All the sales knowledge that you need is already floating out there. You don't have to wait for the, the 55th coming of Peter Thiel. You don't have to wait for him to read aloud into a video, CS183 Lecture 9. That's uh, Startup Lecture 9. Weird, right? Startup Distribution. You don't have to wait for Peter to outline these things for you. They're already floating out there. That's what CS183S is meant to do. It's meant to be an extrapolation of things that exist. Uh, and extrapolate what what a VC is almost so close to spelling out for you, but is kind of embarrassed and too intellectual to walk you through those nitty gritty details. So the information is all out there. Good luck with it. Peter Professor Teal, is he a professor? I don't know, but he taught CS183. He also guest lectured CS183B is in boy. CS183, CS Computer Science 183B. Lecture five, Peter's got a genius thing, which is a business is started on value creation of X and founders get a Y percentage. X and Y are not related. It's genius because if you don't do sales and sales promotion and selling over the phone, oftentimes your Y is zero because some little D-bag business major MBA is going to extract all the value from you. General Electric was started by J.P. Morgan, but guess who did all the work? Tesla and Westinghouse. Okay, so as a homework assignment, read that book and tweet at me the Founders at Work uh, references, and me and Brady will uh, read that stuff. Hey, Brady. Good boy. And the other homework that you could do is you could actually just cold call me. You can sell me on a whatever. I don't care. $70 ebook that you wrote where you're just regurgitating basic stuff from my two mentors, Jerry Detweiler, Mark McCormack, or in this video's case, Jessica Livingston, the Collison brothers, the Paul Graham uh, articles about sales, which he also doesn't outline for you, which is hashtag DTTDSBHM. Do things that don't scale, but have momentum.